Teresa. I'm David. We are retired and road tripping, and we're at Lake of the Ozarks area down in Missouri. We think that we have found free camping near Lake of the Ozarks. We're going to go check it out. It's called Toronto Springs Conservation Area. Yes. What do you know about it, Dave? Well, it started out at 568 acres in 1986, and they added on to it. Now it's up to 890 acres. What do they have there? They used to have a mill there at Toronto Springs, two to four million gallons of water a day. What do they have there now? Private camping and still have springs. Primitive camping. Vault toilet. Vault toilet, picnic table. You can put a canoe in on Wet Glazer Creek. All right, we are heading down the road and we'll see what we find. All right, we're turning off Highway A. Yep. We're about 10 miles east of Highway 54, going toward Montreal. All right, we will get down here. We'll show you the map. We'll show you where you can camp. Canoe access. We'll see everything they have. We have two primitive camping spots here. There's one concrete table and a fire pit. We're coming over here to this one. We've got our literature with us. We're gonna show you how we found this place. A lot of area. There's some sort of a creek we'll show you over there. We're gonna go ahead and show you our new favorite book, the Missouri Conservation Atlas. Copyrighted in 1995, so some of us behind. We're in Camden County. There's the Toronto Springs right here. And then there's 54, Highway A, about 10 miles to there. And we came out of Miller County where the Swinging Bridges is over here to, at the uh, Brumley Swinging Bridges. It goes back to the Lake of the Ozark State Park. How about bars of service, Dave? Uh, let's see here, my phone shows zero bars. Zero bars down here. All right, we're gonna take some pictures and then we're gonna go check out that water. While Dave's putting his book up, we're walking to the water. We just want to say thank you to everybody who's subscribing, all of our new followers and subscribers. Want to remind you that we have a retired and road tripping Facebook page. We also have a group page called Retired and Road Tripping See on the Road. That's where you all can post your pictures and your stories and your links. <coughs> all right, this. Entrance into the water path is a little sketchy just because it's been snowing and now it's frozen ah, and now it's thawing. Thawing back out. Oh, it's pretty down here. Oh, look how pretty it is. You don't have to haul your kayak too far if you put it in down here. Really pretty down here. Dave just noticed over there, I don't know if you can see it, the beaver was chawing on that tree. There's water going this way, and there's water going that way. He said that there's a parking lot up there that you can come down this hill and see what's over there on that side. And we're gonna walk this way, and we're gonna see if we can find a spring that is supposed to be down here. And Well, we're giving up the search for the spring. We don't have time to be hiking all around here. We're gonna come back. Check out that cottonwood tree. And the beaver got one of those trees down. It is pretty down here. What do you think, Banny? Is it pretty? It is beautiful down here. We are giving up on the springs. There are four of them here. We don't have the time to hike to them. We're gonna come back. Dave has found them on the map. Since we have about half a mile hike back to the Jeep, I'll just go ahead and tell you while we're walking. Here, let me switch the arm so that you can see the water at least. How our retired and road tripping got started. In 2015, Dave was diagnosed with a heart defect that he didn't know he was born with it. He has a bicuspid instead of a tricuspid. So when he got cleared in 2015, that's when we decided we were gonna hit all the national parks, national historical sites. We started 
van camping out of our Dodge Green Caravan. Went to Nash, uh, Big Bend National Park, Yellowstone, Tetons, Glacier, Rocky Mountain National Park. In 2020, Dave got diagnosed with another heart issue, myocardial hypertrophy. And that got him sent to the Mayo Clinic. There were seven surgeons in the country that could do that surgery. We picked Rochester, Minnesota. Dr. Schaff and his team saved David's life, cut the size of a thumb out of the middle of his heart. Come on, Bandit. And ever since then, when Dave, when we were up there in Rochester, that was during COVID, I was up there by myself. And I told Dave that if he survived that surgery, that when the time came, I would retire. And so now that year has came at the end of this school year, I am retiring. And just because, look at him go now. Just because Dave and I are both doers, but we also love traveling. We love nature. I just felt like we needed to do something to give our life more purpose other than us just enjoying seeing the country and hiking around and looking at waterfalls and all the fun stuff. So last summer I decided we would start a YouTube channel, retired and road tripping. That's what we've been doing ever since. So far our main focus has been free camping at Missouri Department of Conservation areas. And we've been showcasing that. We've added in Corps of Engineer camping. And this winter we've decided we're gonna start doing state parks when you can camp without having to get a reservation it looks like that time in missouri is from november to march 31st you just pull into state parks first come first serve they have an honor system camping where how you pay that's why we're in the area right now we're at lake lake of the ozark state park yep we are excited about what our future holds very grateful that david lives I'm working hard in trying to stay in shape and lose some weight so that we can keep up with our grandkids and get ready for me to retire at the end of the year. David will still be farming because he loves that. We'll still be playing with our grandkids and taking them places. A wrap to this video, Toronto Sp Springs Conservation Area. We found free camping within 10 miles of Osage Beach. It's over by the it's part of the Lake of the Ozarks area. We're gonna come back, aren't we, Dave? Yep. Dave found on his map that there used to be a mill here. There's four springs and a cave. Yep. So, anything else you wanna add about this? Well, on the other side of the creek, we got another road that you can hike down to the, from the north to the south to get to the uh, wet Glacier Creek. And you can canoe down it back into the Lake of the Ozarks. Eventually, the water ends up in the lake. Yep, check out our playlist. We've got Lake of the Ozarks State Park. We got Lake of the Ozarks, the city. We've got Toronto Springs Conservation Area. We've got Fiery Fork Conservation Area. And we are getting ready to go do Haha ha Tonka State Park. There's a tired road trip in tarp. Yep, there's our tired thing. We love it. We love that Jeep. Hey, we're not done here, Dave. <laughs> we are losing our minds here. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. I can subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road.